They warned me Satan would be attractive. Let's go. Yeah! Find me that loop daddy. Aww. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dad gamer, JB, here. And we've got to talk about the Battlefield 2042 Season 4 Battle Pass trailer. Season 4 that comes out next Tuesday. All right, so let's go through the whole trailer, and then we'll rewind, and we'll talk about it. Intercept. Ambush. Execute. Reporting for duty. Alright, so the big the big new thing, obviously, is the new specialist, Camilla Blasco. She has the, the recon device that can jam enemy vehicle lock-ons. I'm wondering if it also jams explosives. I need to look at that in the description. We'll take a look at that in a bit. Uh, of course, there's a, uh, a new specialist skin for Dozer. I effing hate Dozer. I hate his shield. I think it's a, a really cheesy addition to the game. I really, I'm not a fan of that, but whatever. Um, I have to keep, like... I have to always, when I do my loadout, if I'm playing aggressive, I have to include something that can counter those stupid shields because people will just run around with them, and it's it's kind of annoying. I don't like it in Call of Duty. I don't like it in Battlefield, but whatever. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Then we have these new specialist skins. This is the new skin for the new operator. I thought this was McKay. And then, of course, Casper gets the Prodigal Son. Gilly suit, get up. Great skin. Shh shit character i'm not a big fan of casper i find him boring i he would have his uses if the gameplay was slower but i don't think drone intel is i mean that's useful but at the same time you don't have that many people working together in coordination it doesn't really help much uh, but anyways great skin of course you got the skin for irish good skin i like it new weapon skins they're okay you know the problem with uh like call of duty has a a good thing about they can be outlandish with their skins because it's not taken seriously. But Battlefield is a more seriously taken franchise, so it's really hard to diversify when it comes to skins and cosmetics because they can't be as crazy as other franchises because they're expected to be more grand. Which is a good thing in terms of gameplay, which just kind of, you know, it's really hard to push the envelope when it comes to cosmetics because of that. New vehicle, Cab Brawler, comes with a few skins as well. The Taser Baton finish looks pretty cool. I like that. So you have the SPH Explosive Launcher, which is a delayed fire sticky nade launcher, which should be pretty useful considering there's more destruction coming on the new map, apparently, from what it looked like in the trailers. That's pretty neat. New weapon skins, new weapon charms, blah, blah, blah. I'm honestly not very excited to spend money on a battle pass for a game that's still $60 on Steam. If you're going to play Battlefield 2042, do the $5 EA Play. And play the game like that for now. See if you like it. And if you want to purchase it, wait for a sale. Because this game, to me, should not have a $60 price tag. If this game was $19, and then we have the Battle Pass and all the cosmetics, that would be more appropriate. But $60, you're paying full premium price for this game. Especially considering everything that happened with launch, and all the problems, and all the changes that they've had to make. I think that they should really lower the price to help justify the purchase for a lot of people. 
All right, let's backtrack. All right, so we talked about it, new specialist. She's got the new jammer device, very useful in larger maps. And I will say this. DICE knows how to make good trailers. That's one thing they do very well. And if you've never played this game without a HUD, it is a much better experience. It's hard to know what's going on with points when you're playing with no HUD, but it is a very immersive and fun experience. It's a fun casual experience to play. I'll play Battlefield with no HUD all the time. I play like Halo with no HUD a lot. It's just much more immersive. And I come to value the immersiveness of these games, especially considering how pretty this game is. The device. What is this thing called? The X6 infiltration device. That's what it's called. The jams enemy lock ons. Let's move. Ah, so you see this right here? I hate to be a dick, okay? But that guy with that stupid shield. I'm just saying, out in the open, it's fine and all, but like when you're up in close quarters, it is so frustrating. Like, man, if friendly fire was on, I would put a trank dart right in his ass right now. I'm just saying. I'm always worried when it comes to new weapons. This shotgun, it better not be able to one tap from that distance right there like that. That, let's go back. That is freaking insane. This thing is going to be so OP if it can one tap from there. Quaffled. All right, new weapon, RPT-31. I guess this is the slower fire rate as LMG. I'm looking forward to this, actually. I don't like the thermal scopes. I feel like they're overpowered, but the rest of this is pretty cool. Go, move it. All right, this is going to be a lot of fun to use. I hope it doesn't get abused too much, though. Watch the delay. Boom. Back, back, so you can peek, tag, duck out. Reporting for duty. I like that skin, man. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Don't like the green. You stand out a little too much on the battlefield, but still, still a nice little skin. I like that a lot. The taser finish. That's pretty damn cool right there. D9, nail down skin. <laughs> Boom, and there we have it. I know a lot of people are more frustrated with Battlefield's gameplay changes and the changes, the addition to the specialists and all that, and they don't see the value in the skins. But there is a value in being able to customize and express yourself in the game through these different options that you have. And it keeps the game a little fresh. And for example, I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and been, I've been doing it since 2008. And I have to tell you that it's just like that in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, man. You got, you know, a thousand different uniforms and different things you can choose from. And guys are coming in. My son has a uniform that has like a big wolf embroidered on it. I've got one with a gorilla on the back. I've got a bunch of others, but it's really cool to be able to express yourself through things like that. So I can understand the cosmetic thing. But what I don't like, as I said, is paying for this stuff when the game itself is $60, and I do not think it's worth $60 right now. I still think, even with all the fixes, Dice, you're doing a great job of trying to fix the game. I understand that. But this game needs to be 20 bucks. Even if you you know added five bucks to the battle pass cost, if the game it's the base game's 20 bucks, fine. You did add it to EA Play. That's a good thing. So at least you have that going for you. And the, the $60 on Steam is probably put your, your way of funneling people into EA Play. I kind of get that. So, But anyways, let's go over this stuff on the website here. Okay, so what's coming with Season 4 next week? Right? We got the new map Flashpoint. 
takes place in South Africa. Tight, close quarters combat. Looking forward to that. I feel like DICE has tightened up the gunplay a little bit, and it makes close quarters combat feel much better. So I'm very much looking forward to exploring this map. A lot of people are complaining, saying, oh, it looks kind of the same, blah, 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 of some other maps and all that. I don't really give a damn as long as it's fun and it flows well. New Specialist Blasco, which is going to be fun, I guess, to use in the larger maps and stuff. Uh, we'll see how she does in any other mode. But yeah, it should be interesting to see how she shakes up the battlefield. Of course, you got the new hardware. You've got the new weapons. They have them all shown here. Oh. All right. So we have the new weapons. We got the Super 500 Shotgun Sidearm. This goes into your sidearm slot, obviously. I'm a little worried about balancing with this. I really hope it does not one tap from a few meters away. That'd be OP as hell, but anyways. Uh, yeah, and then you got the RM68 Assault Rifle. Uh, I'm going to love checking that out. You can always use another Assault Rifle. They're fun. Then you've got a new SMG. Seems to cater to a more aggressive play style, which I love, so that's great. And then... Then we have the RPT-31 LMG, which is a harder hitting, slower rate of fire, I'm assuming, LMG. I'm very much looking forward to using that as well. I'm assuming that the price will be somewhere between $10 and $15, 1300 Battlefield coins, which is around 10 to 15 bucks, I guess. Let me know what you think about the changes coming up to next week. I'm excited to see more improvements in the game, and it is great seeing that. I understand the frustration because the launch of the game was so bad. But I do appreciate the work that they are doing now to improve the game. The game's available for $60 on Steam, like I said, but I highly recommend checking it out on EA Play for 5 bucks. See what you think, and then wait for a sale. Alright guys, I'll see you on stream. Peace.